Hi there, Moose Scrapper here again. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you folks about scrapping phones. Now, you have different types of phones. Of course, you got cell phones and you have home phones. Um, cell phones, scrapping cell phones, not usually worth it, even if you're going to scrap it for gold. Um, scrap, by definition, is the least value for the item. Um, so what I recommend doing with cell phones is there, there's a great website it's called topdollarmobile.com where they will pay you the best price. Um, if that if you're not satisfied with the price they offer on there, try and sell it on eBay for a decent price. Um, and if that doesn't work, then scrap it for gold. Uh, these phones are I mean this one's an antique um, by cell phone standards. So this one I looked on Top Dollar Mobile weren't really offering anything for it. Uh, I tried putting it on eBay, didn't get anything for it, so it's going to get scrapped. This one is one of those free government phones for calling 911. Uh, again, Top Dollar Mobile didn't offer anything for it. eBay didn't offer anything else for it, so this is going to get scrapped. Now, another phone that gets overlooked quite a bit are these handheld phones and cordless phones. Now some of the nicest gold boards that I've found have been in really old uh, press button or touch uh, uh, touch pad phones. Um, I found this one phone, it was a clamshell phone from Radio Shack, uh, it was an 80's phone and the board inside there was just covered in gold. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to scrap this one here today so you can see what's inside it. Um, Alright, let's get to it. Well, that was hard. Alright, so it looks like this phone has a lot of little parts. And you can see right there, that's a silver mylar. So, yeah, that's a nice little silver mylar in there. We'll have that taken out. And put that in with silver pile. This is all silver attached to uh, this piece of plastic here. Comes off fairly easy with um, um, nitric acid um, or you can sell it in bulk on eBay for a pretty penny. Alright, so the only other thing that's really worth it in here for me um, are going to be the, the little IC chips. Right in there, the little black IC chips. And inside this phone jack there's going to be some um, gold-plated pins. Um, that is definitely worth keeping. Alright. Let's check out the base. The base, I can pretty much tell you what's going to be in here. You're just going to have some steel. There's a little bit of uh, gold in the um, the pins where the, uh, the phone cable plugs in. So let's get this apart pretty quick. Plate of steel here to give it some weight so it doesn't go over. Oh, there's a nice little piece of brass in here. This is the um, part of the, the ringer. Oh, well, it makes the noise. So Some of the older phones have actually seen this chunk here, which is just steel. Um, oh, check with the magnets. There we go. Um, and some of them I've seen them use actual pieces of lead. So watch out for those. And I've got this thing which has some brass in it. Of course I'll have to liberate it. Alright, there we are. So we got wire, one little piece of brass here. Check on the magnet. Yep, Not magnet. Alright. Okay, so we've got all plastic. Where'd you go? Where are you? Alright, so we've got the three little 
gold bearing jacks. Need gold in there. All three of them. And that's about it. So that's all you're going to find in that kind of phone. Um, phones are usually definitely worth taking apart though, just in case you have that gold board in there, which is you know, the case in the older phones, uh, especially the phones with the, the keypad, not the, the rotary dial. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. See you on the next video.